This is an interesting little tool. It's kind of a Swiss Army knife. There's a collet on the front that if you loosen that screw up, which is a left hand thread, works backwards to what the normal thread does. If you loosen the collet, it opens up the jaws. Then you can take one of the many tools You can take one of the many tools. In this case, we'll use the chisel. You take the square shank and then you tighten the screw up. Put the handle back on so you're not pushing against that thread. And now you have a chisel. Now, this chisel is pretty dull, but let's see what it does on this piece of wood. Very dull. Okay, we'll try the gouge. I don't think it's in any better shape, but we'll try it. These are just the way I got them. Well, that actually cuts. Not well and not easily, but it does cut. Now this is a little tack puller. And it looks like somebody has pried on it a little too hard with something a little bit too big. But then that's kind of the way these things end up. People get them and then think that they have a, a tool able to do everything. You can see that from the tip of the screwdriver. Somebody has tried to tighten something way beyond its capacity. Now, I'm not sure exactly what these little things are. Looks like some kind of a chisel type tool, but I don't know because the angles are wrong and it's not really sharp. I imagine you could use it like something like that, but pushing it in, could it be a leather punch? And there's here's this small one. if it's meant to be used as a leather punch. It does work. Not well or easily. I think it would need to be sharpened. But it does pierce a hole. It just doesn't seem to be the kind of thing that you would have on a tool like this. This is my favorite. It's called a gimlet. A gimlet is a funny little 
drill screwdriver. It has a pilot thread on it and then it has this spiral cutting surface. Don't know if you can see this clearly or not. We'll give you a little lighter background. So to use the gimlet, you engage the screw and the screw pulls the gimlet into the wood and the spiral cutter slices the wood and makes a hole. Not exactly the world's greatest drill, but gimlets are one of those odd little tools. I was fascinated to have one in this little adjustable multi-purpose tool. When you're finished with the task at hand, you loosen the collet, pull out the bit, and slide the tools into their little pocket here on the back. I think this one should go in first. And there you have it. You can go right back into the toolbox.